Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Here I am, folks, kicking it off at two stack jacks. I need the key out of this 850 with all the keyholes because lemonade doesn't have it. And I think Dan the man needs this fender, but it's damaged. I don't know how I got damaged, but it's damaged. So I'm waiting for them to come pull this out of here. And somebody needed these eyebrows off of this red one, but those things are gone. So I'm just kicking it, waiting on the freaking uh, forklift bring this car out of here because I can't get this stuff with the car in here. Maybe that thing off the back of that tailgate, that's about it. But uh, we'll see how long it takes me to get out here. Somebody asked me for this third brake light cover. I have one now without damage. Might need to be painted to match. I'm going after this keyhole here out of this floor panel because those are key. You could lock your floor panel down. Can't get the rear hatch open because the shocks of this car on top of it are resting on the panel. So still waiting for them to come move it. Two minutes has gone by. This keyhole out of this floor panel on the 850, you take these four screws off here, lift that up, slide it forward. Actually, this end just pops up. Now you undo this little latch thing here and that lifts up and off of there. Looks like prying this little clip out here is what'll get it loose. So let me take something, a pry bar, and pry this piece toward this way and that'll release this thing. It'll fall out and I'll have it to take with me. I slid this off. Now this should come out. Do, 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 do. There it is, folks. I got it. Now I need to get the one out of the glove box. I slid that clip back in there. Hopefully I won't lose it. I'm gonna put all this stuff in a bag. Let me see if I brought a bag with me. Might be able to squeeze in here and get this door off. Let's see. It's a squeeze. Sounds like the truck is coming. Maybe that glove box door will be some kind of good. Let me check that as well. And I know those end pieces, people always need those. The other day I could have swore this thing had two keys. Now I can only find one. But it looks like the master key. Heck, it unlocks both doors, turns the ignition. Let me see if it unlocks this. It unlocks the rear tailgate too, so it's probably good. I gotta order another key. Hopefully they'll let me order one with this salvage yard van. So it's not this car with two keys. It's that sedan up there with two keys. And Lucille needs keys, so I might pull those out of there as well. That says 1993. I guess all that stuff is the same. We'll see. I need to find the VIN number on this one. I guess I'll get it off the door. All this other stuff is contaminated. Can I even see the VIN on here? Yesterday, I went to order a title for the car Elizabeth's driving, and I forgot that I replaced that door. And that lady didn't say nothing about that VIN being wrong. So hopefully she's not going to be tripping on that. This does not look like a 93. Doesn't have 93 lights and stuff, so it's probably newer than that. Let me see if it, oh the hood's closed. Let me check the tail lights. Uh, it's a 93 or a 94. Looks like a 94 to me. Let's go in there. Wasn't looking forward to that happening. 
that thing's got clean tail lights over there, but this got bad tail lights. I think I got a lower light over there for Byron's car. Anyway, let me see if I can get this thing off here since I'm still waiting on the forklift 30 minutes later. Since this is unpainted and the one on Lemonade is painted, I'm going to try to take this key barrel out of here. So I'm going to remove this clip right here, pull that out, see if I can get that key out. I'll get a screwdriver and try to work that off. Do -do -do -do. Oops. Got to use two hands. Forklift, evidently he don't know what a Volvo looks like. Claims he's been over here twice. Volvo start right there, they end right there. You ain't been over here twice, I've been here for an hour. Made a mistake and wore my new shoes out here. Hope I don't get them trashed out. And I think I'm going to go up there and get that key set out of that vehicle. I shouldn't need his help to do that. So let me get this driver's door handle out of this gunmetal gray. Then I'll go get the stuff out of there. Oh, I need to get the ignition too. That's going to suck with all that glass in there. Finally found his way out here. So let me see if I can get these keys out of here and hopefully the keys in that car works on everything but man the ignition is going to be tough to get out of here with all this dang glass jeez louise it's all over the steering wheel i'm not sure of the technical name of these connectors but they're in several places on these mid-90 volvos this is the door light and here's a female connector the light bulb plugs into this you also have one of these at the temp sensor and you have one at the relay for the fan. Now it typically has these thinner wires, probably, I don't know, 16 gauge wires, maybe 18. And it's got these insulated female connectors in there. Now you can open this up by prying this piece right here open. Ugh, let me grab a uh, screwdriver. And pry this open but it it unlatches there let me unlatch this one this one has little latches on the side that unlatch it some of them have a kind of a latch in the middle of them got one side and then let me get the other side and then I can do it with my hands once you pop it open like that you can fold that back and then slide these connectors out now what happens over time, these deteriorate, and then when you unplug them from the male ends and try to plug them back in, because all of this is deteriorated on the back of these, I'm gonna show you how a new one looks, the plug backs out when you're trying to plug it in so it doesn't have a good connection. So you gotta make sure you get a good connection. You don't have to have this piece, but it's good for a, a insulator and protector and a latch but you could push these wires on your mail connector and be okay. Let me show you what the new insulators look like because they sell them on Swedish Car Parts website. I'm trying to figure out how to get the key out of the rest of this steering yoke thing. I'm not sure how that comes out. Sure how this key part comes out of this column barrel, but we'll see probably drive those pins out but I'm not sure so I asked the question on the form we'll see what comes up do 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 yeah this is kind of a mess well this is a two key car as well the key that turns the ignition doesn't turn the door so I'm out from that guess I'll go and get up out of here purchased this fellows power shredder nine sheet cross cut shredder five minutes run time also shreds paper clips staples and credit cards supposed to be quiet let's open it up see what we got there it is folks, it says nine sheet at a time. You can oil it right through the top here. Cautions. Be careful doing that stuff because it's got moving gears. Don't put kids toys in there, hands in there, 
stuff like that. Don't spray it with nothing. If you're going to do a credit card, put it in this section. Usually, these are, uh, oh, that's a lock, a safety lock. Unlock it. You could do it in one speed or double speed. Sometimes, this is a reverse switch, so that's the power that lets you know when it's overheated. So, let's go ahead and plug it in. Put it to use. That's the trash bucket there. Instructions and some kind of gift registration card. And this thing has a window in it. So you can see when it's starting to fill up. Got a number there for questions and concerns. Nothing like a phone number these days to be able to call companies. So that's the waste catcher. Let's throw it on here. Got it all plugged in. Unlocked it. Cut it on normal speed. When I first cut it on, it ran for about three seconds. So me, I don't like getting mail that has my name on it applications and stuff like that so I like to shred that kind of stuff oh, this stuff here is just trash so let me find something to shred guess I can shred this just for practice a couple of envelopes a couple of envelopes man I can't even see it down in there let me turn the light on and see if we can see it yep here it is down in there did a great job I'm gonna turn it over to this other setting Let's see what that does ah that's a reverse in case something gets stuck put it back to forward and there it is back and forward nice I like it all right, let's find some stuff to shred and keep this cleanup process going through this old mail. Found that title for that donor vehicle I need to mail out. Getting that in the mail today. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.